Hey class, welcome to the Easing Tables to Figure Out Patterns tutorial. It'll probably help if you already watch the basic strategies to figure out simple patterns tutorial because I'm going to use some of the same strategies in map language in this tutorial. So why do we want to use tables? Well, they help us organize our data so we can see a pattern more easily and solve values for larger terms. For example, um, say our data is this. 4, 8, 12, and 16. We can use our basic strategies to extend this data right here. So if I take a look at that, that looks to be a growing pattern because the numbers are increasing and the jumps are small. So I'm probably adding, in this case, adding 4, adding 4, adding 4. 4 plus 4 is 8, plus 4 is 12, plus 4 is 16. And I can use this pattern right now at 4, and the next one's 20. So I found five terms so far, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. But if I, my question was to solve for the 72nd term, I'm not going to go with plus 4, plus 4, plus 4, plus 4, plus 4, plus 4, 72 times. I mean, that's just really long, and you can make a lot of mistakes along the way, and it's going to just take way too long. So I'm going to use a table of values so that it'll help me uh, shorten up this problem and make it a lot quicker and easier with uh, prone to less make a mistake less if I use a table. So let's use a table of values and let's use the same data. So use a table of values to figure out the fifth and seventeenth term. So I'm going to start off by creating my table which is your basic looking T table. That's a half decently oh, kind of straight table here. And I'm just going to label it. And I'm labeling it term in this column. I'm going to label it term number. So I'll just put a number sign. And the other column is term value because we have no information. It's just numbers right now. So our first term number is the value is 4. The second one, if you look over here, is 8. And the third one is, yep, it's 12. And the fourth one is 16. So using uh, basic strategies again, I'm going to look down this column this time. So how do I get from 4 to 8? Well, I could multiply by 2 actually, or I could add 4. I don't know which one yet. It could be either pattern rule right now, so I'm going to try the next one. How do I get from 8 to 12? 8 times 2? No, it doesn't equal 12, so no to that one. 8 plus 4? Yeah. It does equal 12. Let's try it again. 16 plus 4, 12 plus 4. It does equal 16. So I'm pretty confident that the pattern rule is add 4 down the numbers in the column. So let's solve for 5, the fifth term. Fifth term, I'm going to use the same strategy of adding 4. And the answer is 16 plus 4 is 20. So that checks out right now. But what about the 17th term? I don't want to keep on adding 4 all the way down to 17 because, again, it could take too long and we could make a mistake. So I'm going to try using this table, this nice table here now, to find the pattern across the columns. So instead of going down, we're going across. And how do we get from 1 to 4? Well, we could multiply by 4 or add 1 plus 3 equals 4. I don't know which one it is yet. So let's try it out. 2 times 4, it does give me 8. 2 plus 3, no, it's not 8, it's 5. So it's not this one. Let's double check. 3 times 4 is 12. 4 times 4 is 16. 5 times 4 is 20. So this checks out. So we're going to use that rule. 17 times 4, well, 17 times 4 equals 68. So, see, instead of going all the way down 17 times, we just figured out that you multiply by 4 across to get the answer, to get the term value. So in this case, 17 times 4 equals 68. And our answer is 68 for the 17th term and 20 for the 5th term. 